What's going on guys, Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today, we are taking a closer look at the top 5 best healer builds in Albion Online. For each and every single build, I will explain the playstyle, which abilities should you use, how will the different healing staffs work, and much more. And most importantly, in this video I will show you the best of the best builds for 2v2 Hellgates, then the best healer builds for PvE, 1v1 dungeons, 100 vs 100 fights, and much more. So no matter what type of PvP or PvE healer you are, you will find the build that you are looking for. And with all this said, let's get right into it. Then taking a closer look at the first one, which is the one and only Great Holy Staff build, which is meant for small scale PvP and 2v2 Hellgates. So for the weapon of choice, you pick the Great Holy Staff and go with the first Q, then the third W and first passive. Then for the helmet, you pick the Clerical and go with the third ability and first passive. Then for the chest armor, you go with the Fiend Robe and select the third ability and first passive. And then lastly for boots, get the assassin shoes and use the third ability and second passive. Then for my choice of capes, I pick the limphurst cape and for consumables, I went with the pork omelette and resistance potions. And just a quick disclaimer, in this video I'm using full tier 8.1 gear, but every build that you see you can use tier 4.1 or whatever you can afford. These builds are very good and will work no matter how high tier you have them. And now let's move over to the build's playstyle. So this great holy staff is the best for 2v2 hellgates and small scale pvp. So first of all, for the 2v2 hellgate playstyle, you just have one more teammate. So whoever the enemy is attacking, you just heal him. Usually the enemies go for the healers, so that's why we have a lot of defensives for the build. So your spell combo is whenever someone starts taking damage, you use the W ability and then press Q every single time it gets off the cooldown. Then whenever you or your teammate gets about 50% health, use the E ability, which will in a circle range will throw all the players away and heal you both. Then as far as the defensives go, the R ability is a red aura, which will make other players automatically move and this ability is very good for high skill players. So for example, when the enemy player gets too close to you and you can't outheal their damage, use the R ability to make the enemy player cancel his spells. Or on the other hand, you can use this ability in offensive way. So if you come across another healer and DPS team, then use the R ability on the enemy healer and make him split and create a distance, so your other teammate then can kill the DPS enemy while the enemy healer is far away. And then as for your own defensives, we have the D ability, which is an ice block, and when you use it, you will become immune to any damage. This spell is very good to protect yourself against one-shot builds, and then we have the F ability, which is a dodge roll, where you gain a little bit of a speed, but as well, while you use it in the first second, it will block any damage that is hitting you. And lastly, for the potions, I recommend to use resistance potions if you fight against two DPS players, but on the other hand, if you come across another DPS on healer build, then use the energy potions. And as far as any small scale PvP goes, this build basically works the same. Just keep in mind that instead of focusing to just one player, you will have to heal 4 to 5. So heal the first guy, whoever is the lowest, and usually focus on the tank and melee bruisers, because they will be in a front line and are most likely to take a lot of damage. So in conclusion, this build is very strong and is meta right now, so follow the playstyle and you will be one of the best healers ever. Then moving over to the second healer build, which is the Divine Staff. And it's meant for PvE, so that means fame farming, hardcore expeditions and etc. So for the weapon of choice, you pick the Divine Staff and go with the first Q, fourth W and first passive. Then for my helmet, I went with the Clerical and selected the third ability and first passive. Then for my chest armor, I picked the Cleric Robe and went with the third ability and first passive. And lastly for shoes, I chose the Cleric Sandals and went with the third ability and second passive. Then for my choice of capes, I picked the Limhurst cape, and for my consumables, I went with the pork omelette and energy potions. And as far as this build's playstyle, it is actually very simple. So you have three main healing abilities. The first one is Q, which is just a normal healing spell. But then we have the W, which is basically like an orb that you can shoot, and up to 10 allies in 7 meter radius will get healed. And lastly we have the E ability, which basically you can use to put a massive shield on one player. So as I said at the start, this is a PvE build, so your main objective is to use Q and W on the teammates that are the lowest health, and save the E ability to put on your tank or if a DPS player by mistake jumps in an AoE spell, 
and he is 1 HP. And then as for defensives, if your fame farming group has at least half of brain cells, you should never be taking any damage, but just in case, if you do, here we have a cleric robe aka the R ability, which by using you will take 0 damage for the next few seconds. Then we have the D ability, which is the clerical, and it will give you an ice block ability, which by using again no one can damage you while you are in that ice block. And lastly, we have the F ability, aka the teleport, so just in case you need to get away or closer to your teammates, you have a fast spell to teleport with. And of course, if you have an efficient and fast clearing dungeon group, you will be low on energy 24-7. So I recommend to bring a bunch of cheap energy potions and you should be good to go. So in conclusion, this build is basically the best PvE build that you can use at the time of recording. So try this one out and have fun. Then, now we have come to the next build, which is the Blightstaff build. And it's meant for 100 vs 100 fights, aka this is a healer ZVZ build. So for the weapon of choice, we go with the Blightstaff and pick the 3rd Q, 4th W and 3rd Passive. Then for my helmet, I went with the Mercenary Hood and picked the 3rd ability and 1st Passive. Then for my choice of chest armor, I went with the Cleric Robe and picked the 3rd ability and 1st Passive. And lastly for shoes, I went with the Scholar Sandals and picked the 3rd ability and 2nd Passive. Then for my choice of capes, I picked the 4th Sterling Cape. And for my consumables, I went with the Pork Omelet and Energy Potions. And then, taking a closer look at this healer's build playstyle, so basically you are using a nature staff which means that your main objective is to heal as many players as possible. So each spell you do, keep in mind to use it and place the abilities on where your teammates are the closest to each other, so all players get to be healed at the same time. So first of all, your Q ability is spell which you can place mushrooms on the ground, and if a player step on that mushroom, he and the other allies will receive healing for 20 seconds. Then we have the W which you can apply on yourself or on one target and it will increase the target's damage resistance and close allies will get 3 stacks of healing applied to them. And then lastly we have the E ability which while channeling you will get a speed boost and the ability to create a healing circle which all allies standing in it will receive healing. So the playstyle as a healer in CVZs is to be in your teammates backline and in front of your teammates place the Q ability aka the mushrooms. Then when a player gets too low health or your team's tank is about to engage the enemies, apply the W ability on him and lastly, whenever big damage is coming and your teammates are low health, use the E ability and heal all of them. Then as for the potions, the same thing applies like in any other healer build. So if you consistently take damage, use the resistance potions. Or most likely, if you run out of energy very quickly, then use the energy potions. Then for your defensives, you have the R ability, which by using, you will become immune for few seconds to any incoming damage. Then we have the D ability, which whenever you or your allies get stunned, you can cleanse them by using the spell. And lastly, we have the F ability, which will give you 17% speed boost, and while you're using the boots, you will become immune to any stunts or slowness debuffs. So in conclusion, the ZVZ healer build is very good, but there are more good options for other ZVZ healer builds as well. So if you want to see a part 2 of this video, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And if you are looking for open world PvP and huge fight healer build, then this is one of the best for you. Then for one of the last healer builds on the list we have the one and only Hall of Hell 1v1 Corrupted Dungeons PvP build. So this build is strictly meant for only 1v1 dungeons and will not be good for support healer. But if you want to PvP as a healer then this is the best build for that. So the weapon of choice is the Hall of Fell, and for the abilities you go with the first Q, first W and second passive. And for your offhand you pick the miscolor. Then for the helmet you go with the mage cowl and pick the third ability and first passive. Then for your chest armor you go with the royal jacket and pick the third ability and first passive. And lastly for boots go with the sandals of purity and pick the third ability and second passive. Then for my choice of capes I picked the Tetford cape and for my consumables I went with the Avalonian pork omelet and poison potions. And then as far as the gameplay goes, so basically your main objective is to stay alive for as long as you can, and in meanwhile auto attack the enemy player. So first things first, what you want to do is apply the D ability, which will give you a poison effect on your weapon. So you just simply auto attack the enemy while having the activated D ability, and use the poison potions whenever you have them off cooldown. Then as far as the healing spells go, the Q is a normal heal. Then the W is another heal which you can place on yourself and enemies close to you will get knocked back. 
And lastly, we have the E ability, which is basically like a dash or big jump, which when you land on the ground will again heal you, but as well, if you hit an enemy, it will throw him in the air. As well, remember that not only you can use the W and E spell for your own healing, but as well use it strategically. And if you are close to mobs or lava, then you can use the knockback effect to throw the other players to mobs or lava and make him take a lot of damage. And then you still have the R ability, which I would suggest to use as soon as you can. And when you get it off cooldown, because using this ability, it will make your all cooldowns finish faster. And then for your movement, to catch a player or run away, use the F ability, which you can activate by pressing F once and if you want to cancel it, press F again. So in conclusion, this healer build is very strong as any healer build, but if you want to use it in 1v1s, be ready that each fight, it will last for at least 3-4 to four minutes, or even longer. A lot of times players, as soon as they see a healer in 1v1 dungeons, will just run away. And last but not the least, if you are a new player and don't know how to heal yourself, just hold alt key while using the healing spell. And this is how you select yourself as the target to heal. But all in all, if this build sounds fun to you, then try this one out and good luck! Then for the last healer build we have the Fallen Staff ZVZ build. So a few builds ago I gave you a nature staff healer build and now in case you're looking for the second best option but just the holy staff zvz build then here it is. So the weapon of choice is the fallen staff and for the abilities we pick the first Q, 4th W and 2nd passive. Then for my helmet I chose the mercenary hood and picked the third ability and first passive. Then for my chest armor I got the cleric robe and picked the third ability and first passive. And lastly for shoes I went with the scholar sandals and picked the third ability and second passive. Then for my choice of capes I picked the fourth sterling cape and for my consumables I went with the pork omelet and resistance potions. So then moving over to the build's playstyle. Your Q is a normal healing spell which won't apply to allies but only the one target you select. So usually the holy healer's focus is healing the tanks and just any target that is 1 HP and is about to die. But then for your W we have a shooting orb which you can shoot in allies direction and anyone standing in 7 meter radius will get healed. And lastly for the E ability we have another spell that you can aim and it will heal all allies standing in it. So you just simply point your cursor on where you want to heal your ZVZ group and use the ability. As I've mentioned you don't really have to worry about looking at stacks or other stuff. Just heal the players who are the lowest and aim W and E spells whenever your allies are clumped up together and low health. And then again for my defensive abilities we have the R ability which will give you immunity for a few seconds. Then we have the D ability which you can use to cleanse yourself or your allies close by. And lastly we have the F ability which will give you 70% speed boost and while using the boots you will become immune to any stunts or slowness debuffs. So in conclusion the ZVZ healer build is the second best option for large scale PvP and don't forget that if you can afford it always bring resistance and energy potions. And depending on the situation use whichever one is more useful. And that's about it. So I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or different healer builds that you would recommend to other players then feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. While you're doing that please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell so this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace. I ain't here for the money